is uh, by Mr. Bernardo Antonio. It is uh, exactly uh, 10.30. You remember I was with you outside when I was having a very colorful uh, video on the water fountain. So I said uh, today I want to bring for you a calibration uh, on the Lamazopo. So remember when I was with you in uh, Joss Cafe, we did about the Victoria uh, machine. So today we have a very small mini machine that uh, we want to work on. Uh, it's called the Lamazopo. So basically this machine is always used uh, in-house. But uh, here in our restaurant, we are using it because it is so fast and it's so efficient. So the most important thing that uh, we want to do today is how we are going to do is calibration. So first thing first, what you need to do is just to jump in the machine and able to start. When you are doing a calibration, first of all, uh, you need to have your water filter. Uh, the porta filter and today I'm using a, a double porta filter for my espresso so always make sure that the porta filter is very clean and very shiny it's very important because we always say that uh, the first thing in a restaurant or the first thing in a coffee shop hygiene is very very important remember right now we are facing a very crucial uh, dangerous uh, uh, disease the corona you see I'm in my gloves you see so hygiene is very 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 important so make sure that the porta filter is clean and shiny then, if the water filter is not clean, you are in the process of uh, working on your espresso machine. What you do, always make sure you remove your water filter. You flush the water from the group head there. You flush your water from the group head. So flushing water from the group head, basically, it helps you to remove the small chips of the coffee from the water filter, uh, from the group head. And also, it cools down the machine. Then, when you have the coffee, uh, which has already been consumed, just make sure you turn it down uh, here. You wipe it so nicely uh, uh, with your clean cloth and make sure it is it's nice. So that's actually the first thing that you need to do before anything else. So as per now, my group head is clean. My water filter is very clean as well. The next step now, we jump into uh, our grinder. So the grinder that I'm using today is a, a compact grinder. It's one of the nicest, one of the finest grinder upon the face of the earth. <laughs> Let me use that top. <laughs> Today I'm just excited to bring for you this video. You know, I feel that I have that energy and I have that uh, is called. So the compact grinder is basically good because uh, it is so efficient. Uh, it keeps actually uh, the coffee tight. There's no oxidation. That's why. But I'll able to explain much more about the 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 grinder in my next uh, calibration when I'll be doing the Cineso. But today I'm working on the mini Amazon. So. Always make sure that you have these tools in your counter first. You have the water filter, then here I'm having a, a mini uh, scale. So the mini scale basically we are going to use it to measure our dose uh, from the grinder. You get the measurement like for today, for instance today, I'm using the uh, Colombian coffee. The Colombian coffee, the roasting profile is uh, medium to dark roast. So I'm going to use 19.8, uh, 19.7, 19.5. Is not bad because I'm viewing a ratio of 1 to 2. So I'll be having 19.8, uh, 19.5, but I'll stick with 19.8. Then I'll be able to do 38 uh, ml uh, of our coffee. So the small one is for measuring the ml. So we call it the yield. So I'll just jump straightly into my uh, grinder. So first thing first, what you do, always uh, have your water filter on the scale. The first measurement that you get here is gives you the weight of the water filter. But we are not actually interested with the weight of the water filter. What you are interested with, you are interested with the grammage of the coffee. So what you do, make sure that you tear uh, your water filter. I mean, you, you tear your sorry about that one. Man, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm even calling the I'm even calling the scale the water filter. But it's okay. Well, these are the terminologies that you use in uh, in our body study when you're doing the calibration. So we make sure that you tear in the scale so that you can have the zero. Then after that one, you remove your water filter again, return it again to retest the scale if it's giving you uh, a zero zero. Then after that one, you take our measurement now uh, from our grinder. So remember, uh, we are doing a calibration for the machine. So your grinder, or in most grinders, like the compact, I have those one, those two, and those three. So number one, two, three. So number one, you 
can use it for a calibration for, uh, for instance, uh, the Brazilian for white base. Or number two, you can use it for a calibration for uh, the Colombian. So it's a coffee speciality. So I, today I'm only having one grinder. So for my grinder today I'm using uh, those two. And the those two, I'm using it for uh, coffee, uh, white base coffee, coffee with milk. So I've already set it uh, 19 points. Short since I'd already set my grinder dose 2 for white base 19.5 grams and dose 1 for black coffee. So I've already set it uh, 19 points, uh, 19 points. So I'll pull my, uh, my, my grind uh, now and always make sure that when you're pulling a grind, you have already tested the texture, the profile of uh, your coffee. Like my coffee. I checked it today. It is a, a medium to coarse because it's for the it's for the uh, coffee. It's very 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 important about the the coarseness, about the grain size of the coffee. I'm able to explain for you in my next uh, uh, tutorial. Then from here, always make sure that uh, you return it back on the scale. Be able to see <coughs> it's giving me 18.8 grams. But my main aim or my main yield. Uh, today I want to do a 19.5 or 19.7 but today basically uh, let me toast two, 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 two. let's use uh, 19.5 so on the scale is giving me 18.8 so it's not actually my target so the dose that I want for my coffee today is 19.5 I'm using a ratio of 1 to 2 so I'll have uh, 19.5 for my coffee and 38 to 38, 39 ml of a uh, uh, extraction of the espresso. So I'll just add a little bit here. Just make a small tap uh, from your grinder. Then you measure it again. It's giving me 19.8. But my aim and what I want today for my guest is 19.5. So I'll take this one. I will hide a small uh, a stick over here, a starter. So you know, hygiene is good. I don't have to use my hand. I'll just remove a little bit of it. I put it over there. Then I measure again in my scale. I'm getting it 19.5. This is exactly what I want. So it can give you a, a minus or a plus. So I'm getting that one. So we are perfect. We are good to go. Then the next step after you have pulled your shot, you have got your damage from the scale. The next thing now we need to level the coffee in the uh, coffee basket in the in the uh, in the uh, water filter or you call it the basket. So you make sure you get a very nice level of coffee over here. As you can see, I'm leveling it very nicely. Everything is inside the basket. This is important because I don't want the chips of the coffee uh, outside the bas basket because when I'm pulling my shot, they tend to burn and give a very bad taste in our coffees, especially a very bad coffee taste like a burnt caramel. So make sure everything is inside the basket. So as you can see, all my coffee are contained inside the basket. Then now the next step uh, in our calibration now is to do a tamping. And tamping is very important during the calibration. So what I'm going to do, I'll put it in my tamping pad over here. As I always say, make sure that uh, you have a very firm grip uh, on the counter. Then I'm able to take my knob. So these are the tools that you need to actually to have in your in your counter. Remember, in my previous 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 videos, I shared about the the, the tools that uh, we need to have and we need to know. So just go back in my YouTube channel, you're able to see all the gadgets that you use as baristas. So this one is called a tapping knob. This is how we hold it. Hold it so nicely, uh, like this. As I always say, first you, you apply a very small uh, pressure, a soft one, uh, on the coffee. Bear in mind your hands needs to be on a perpendicular 90 degrees. The way I'm doing it over here. Slow and easy, like a small baby. Small pressure, just to make a nice level. Then now exact a pressure of 30 pounds. That's the standard. Uh, uh, that's the standard pressure that we exact during our our our, our, our uh, calibration. So I know getting the 30 pounds. You're asking how can I get the 30 pounds? But it's important also to make more practice on the scale. Put your hand. Put your hand. Then you're able to get that pressure. So here we go. The pressure. There we go. Family. Then release. Then rotate. You are now. Release your tamping knob. Then, as you can see, I have a very nice, fine uh, level uh, uh, 
your coffee. If you really want to know that uh, you have a very nice thumb uh, for your coffee, just take your water filler, put it upside down. When the coffee falls down, you need to do it again. So let's test and see if my thumping is good. Nice and lovely. As my colleague always say, behind the camera, you know you cannot see it, but Ready? it's mm -hmm. behind the camera. It's called Raju. Well, check it, check the camera. So check, check, check. it is pam. Then the next thing, now we need to put it uh, on the group head. You see this is the group head. Remember we already flushed the water. So our group head, the water is clean and it's ready for this extraction. So we put it over here very nicely and firmly in our group head. Make sure you fix it very nicely and firm. Then immediately, uh, I have my cups over here. Uh, always make sure that uh, you preheat them uh, with hot water. For instance, just preheat so quick. And if I'm able to pour this one over here, then take this one. This, this is a ceramic cup, so ceramic cups, they give us a very nice uh, uh, heat preservation. You're able to pour in a sink. Then after that one, just set this one so quickly. Because you are not supposed to have a delay when after putting the uh, water bit on the group head because the coffee is burning. So make sure you tear it's zero zero, then you are able to do now your calibration. So remember our aim is uh, 38 ml of coffee. So we are able to get a nice flow of the coffee. And if you really need not know that your tamping is good, you need to have a simultaneous flow of the coffee, the way the coffee is actually uh, having. Today, you know, I'm in a, I'm in another a coffee shop. This is called uh, uh, Moruch, one of our branch. So the setup is not that clearly. So I will be checking uh, my ML. I'm aiming at uh, uh, 38. There we go. I cut it off uh, from there. So exactly, as you can see, I want to cancel it with the So I'll just put it nice so you can able to see what it has given me. Uh, let me put a little bit over there. A little bit over here, a little bit over here. So it's supposed to give me 38. gave me 37.7 my scale was not nicely uh, actually charged but in the essential 37.2 37.538 7 so but always bear in mind that uh, when you are doing it uh, always have the right ms and a ratio you have done so i'm having here like 37 but my aim was 38 which is a small uh, percentage difference from the Everything is good and also make sure everything is clean. 
The next thing you can able to take now the milk. After taking the milk, yes. Ah, good. Sorry, I'm having so many friends. Uh, my my driver has come over here to, to pick us, but it's okay. Uh, we will just continue with our training. So I'll take my milk for uh, pour it over here. Where I'm doing it. I'm using a regular milk, but for the milk, you can use the milk that we have. You remember in my last video, I showed you the type of milk that we have. Then now we continue to do what is called the steaming. So steaming, always make sure that you flush the water from the steaming jet. You see, because we always have water. They are flushing. Uh, then after flushing, now we start doing our steaming over here. So I'll steam, you hear the hissing sound. In my next previous tutorial, I'll be sharing with you on how to steam the milk. But I told you the most important thing you need actually to feel the temperature of the milk with your hands. I said and I stressed the hands are the best temperatures of our uh, uh, steam milk. Now, at my coffee, I cannot hold it much hot, I can stop over this one. So, according to research and what I've done. Uh, through this one. If I take now, for instance, my uh, thermometer, if I measure it, it's going to give me a range of 65, 66, 5 degrees. So always make sure that uh, you swallow your milk, not a little bit down uh, to kill the bubbles. So the milk over here on the picture is much more thicker. Always divide your milk a little bit, like this one, to balance the milk. Then from here now, you can be able to proceed and uh, make your coffee. Uh, with it. I don't know whether my camera will be able to take this one, but uh, for the latter arts, I'll be able to, to show you uh, in my subsequent uh, videos. I'll just do uh, something uh, small uh, for you over here. I'll just make uh, a, a small uh, uh, latte lap uh, over here. So that's basically it. Uh, we are done with our calibration. So you can able to uh, enjoy your coffee, have a taste of it. So basically, this is how we do our calibration for a small medium mazoka. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. Uh, thanks for those post positive comments. I really appreciate the uh, big up. Uh, next week, I'll be showing you how to calibrate the, the big giant now. It's MPV4. Yeah, if I'm not right. In uh, our most branch called uh, uh, Cape of Ipa. Arius. Shukran.